show you age calculator and my calculator. So let's start off with my calculator. Now in the age calculator we have test input 1 and test input 2 and we have a, a label that is renamed as result. Then we add 4 buttons which has the icons Items of plus, minus, multiply, and divide. Now let's see how to code this. For coding this, we should first go into App Labs. And first, rename it as my calculator. And then we go to design. First, we add the buttons. And then we, we take up the test of the first button and add an image which is plus icon. For that we should go to icons and then click on the plus icon. Then for the button 2, we, we take out the test and then choose minus symbol. And for button 3, We cross out the test and choose an image which is cross or times. And for divide, we don't have any icon. So, we go to the test box and type a slash. Then, we... Uh, Change the font size and the font color. So here we go. We are ready with the buttons. Now we take two test inputs. And we change the size and width of it. Then again we take another test input. And make it say, same as the before one. And then for the last one we take test. And resize it. Then, instead of test, we type result and the ID should be as result. And for this 
first input 1, we rename it as number 1. And then for number 2, uh, test input 2, we rename it as number 2. And now for button 1, we rename the ID as addition. Then button 2 is subtraction. And then for multiplication of button 3, we rename it as multiplication. Now for the last button, we rename it as division. Now, let's code. And first, let's check if this is correct like the other one. So, these two are correct. Now, let's go to coding. So, this is the code we have done. And now, I'll teach you from where this code comes and how to do this code. For this, we should... In UI controls, we should drag and drop on event four times. And then for the first one, on event ID, we rename the ID as addition. Click function is add. And then for the next code, we should drag and drop set test ID, comma test. And for this, we set the test as result, I mean ID as result. And test, we go to math and drag and drop. A dash plus dash and then in that dash dashes we keep get number number one and get number number two which is get number ID drag and dropping twice. For the first get number ID, we should keep it as number 1 and for the next one as number 2. And for the next one, it's the same but with different symbols and different IDs with different functions. So for this, we keep it as subtraction and function as subtract. And then we drag and drop set test ID result math subtraction symbol with dashes and Get number ID number one and number two. Now for the next one, we make it as multiplication and function as multiply. And then drag and drop set test ID 
the id is result and the test is multi multiply operator with dashes and then we add and drop that number id and as same as the above we rename the id as number 1 and number 2 and for the last one we do division for this function we do we type divide and now as same as the above on event we do the same result go to match division operator with two dashes and get number id and rename the id as number one and number two and now let's see if this goes working so let's run it so here i type 400 300 now let's add it we get the answer 700 in the results place and then for subtraction we get 800 in the results place and then for multiplication we get the same in results place the answer and for division we get the answer in results label results label so here we go our my calculator app is working.